Well, hey everyone, my name is Samuel Laws. I'm the lead pastor of Brave Church. I'm Al Girona, the chairperson of the Elder Board from San Francisco's Authentic Church. Yeah, and we are very excited to share some news with you, but also take this time to share our story and really how we ended up here at this moment and what God is doing. God is doing something very special in the life of Brave Church and Authentic Church, but also for the city of San Francisco. So, Al, how did we meet? We met at a hair salon. That's right. <laughs> in July of 2021. And it was actually exactly July 30th of last year. Wow. If anybody doesn't believe that God connects people for a purpose, uh, even just serendipitously, spontaneously, I feel like this story is going to be a, a game changer. Uh, but really, I, I started getting my haircut from Shante about 10 years ago, started going to her shop. Well, she now has her own shop. Yeah. And one day, uh, Al was in the chair. I believe we settled that, right? You were before me or after me? or Yeah, I was, I was before you. Yep. And she just said, you got to meet this guy uh, before you leave. We ended up just talking. Uh, she'd taken some photos. <laughs> And it was an amazing time because I've heard of Brave for so many years, Derek Carr, Pastor Samuel, and that's Shantae's main church. And she kept talking and talking about it. And finally, she said to me, both of you are going to be friends. Yeah. So then that, that just like connected us online. But then I want to say it was six to 12 months later. It was a while later. Out of the blue, she sent me a text and just said, hey, uh, I got to connect you with Al. Is it okay if I share your number? Uh, their church is just going through a lot, and I really feel like you guys need to connect. And let me tell you, um, we were going through some hard, hard times. Um, our pastor was killed tragically in a cycling accident. Um, one of our elders left a few months beforehand. Another elder was moving out of town. And literally, we needed help, and we needed help from godly people and godly churches. And so I prayed that the Lord would provide us from the heavens with the right partners to partner with and the right leaders to appear our way. So when, when you called me, Al, um, I just remembered thinking, because you know, since, moving, since I was 17 years old, I felt called to San Francisco and not really sure how that would pan out in different seasons, but when you called me, you, were, you asked me to come speak, and then I just remember you were telling me, um, all about the church, and I didn't really know where you were going with it, but I had goosebumps. It was just like, this feels incredible, like God's doing something, but I don't know what. I just became the pastor of Brave Church. I'm not leaving Brave Church. <laughs> yeah. What was interesting about that conversation was it never felt like we had something else to add to our calendar. Yeah. We agreed to pray, we agreed to speak, and we agreed to, get, to allow God to lead in the process. And what ended up happening was Pastor Darren and I had a conversation over lunch. You brought your dad over. And I just knew that I knew that there was something in God's providence to this. So maybe just, you know, for those who aren't as familiar with the story or even a, a part of our church, why don't you just share a little bit about your process? Because you led Authentic through a, a pretty robust season of trying to determine God's will for what's next. I just want to acknowledge the movement of Holy Spirit and then also the multiple pastors that have walked with me, walked with our elders, walked with our church, have sown into our church, blessed us with either preaching, being present, having their worship teams be present as well. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't have done it alone, obviously. Mm -hmm. So thank you, pastors, for all that you've done. So God told me that no pastor was going to say no when I asked humbly, because we were in a Romans 828 season that Greg provided back in March 2020 through the devastation of the pandemic. And so there's a big reliance on the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I went ahead and asked, made the phone calls, prayed about it first. And what God provided was a series of yeses. And within that, God said to me, one of the pastors is going to be your lead pastor through a merger. And that process was very difficult, I think. Yeah. You preached six times, uh, your father preached five times, the Brave Worship team blessed us three times. So it was a long, arduous process over, over four months. But God kept directing me and the rest of the elders that your next leader and your next pastor is going to come out of this process. 
That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, you, you really did your research. <laughs> <laughs> and not a lot of people, when they're in a desperate situation, that's one of the things that really stood out to me because for, for Brave, it's always been, if God's not in it, we don't want it. And one of the ways that God has affirmed that for us is really going from seasons of strength to strength, not overextending, not doing, you know, expansion can be exciting. We're in a season where a lot of churches, there's a, there's a national trend of churches becoming stronger and better together for various reasons. Correct. Uh, but one of the things that really impressed me was just the way that you guys you guys weren't desperate. You weren't making desperate moves. You weren't jumping at the first church that said they would help you mm -hmm. or you know want, or the first person that wanted to be your new pastor. Uh, but we're really thinking, hey, what what is God doing in the Bay Area? And what could the next hundred years look like? Yes, and that's exactly it. We were in our 75th year currently, moving into our 76th year. So. There have been many prophecies, many prayers for the last 75 years. We've been around for over 100 years. And so what God said is, the pastors or the pastor team is going to come with you and walk with you humbly. They're going to serve you. They're going to give to you. They're going to expand your boundaries and territories in prayer and also in vision. And so when the Lord told me that the pastors are going to be visionaries, Moreover, the Lord actually said they're going to know the lay of the land in the Bay Area, San Francisco, and beyond. So here we are, and we are one church, three locations, San Ramon, Dublin, and San Francisco. You know what? We are so excited. We are so <laughs> excited for what God is going to do in the city of San Francis and beyond. I really believe that San Francisco is the tipping points, the head, not the tail, of what we could accomplish Amen. all over the Bay Area. And what a blessing it is to be brave San Francisco in this season, moving us forward to the next 75 years. Amen. Well, hey, I will be in San Francisco this Sunday speaking. If you know anyone, if you live in the city, bring them along. Um, we're going to be talking about what this means, what's next. Uh, we've got some exciting stuff coming up that we can't wait to share about. Get excited. Woo, thanks Go for brave. watching.